Well, good morning, everybody. I'm glad to be with you again this week. I hope you had a great New Year's Day celebration and a good weekend. And as we begin today, we're going to start uh, looking at some verses in 2 Peter. I know that might not be a familiar book to you, but it's an important book. It tells us what we have in Christ. It urges us to walk in the holiness that we need uh, before the Lord. It also talks about the second coming of the Lord. But today we want to read just the first a few verses of this uh, book, 2 Peter. It says, Simon Peter, a bondservant of the apostle of Christ, to those who have received faith, of the same kind as ours by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to say grace and peace. I think that's a very interesting thing that he talks about faith in two dimensions. First of all, faith is just faith. Uh, when you receive uh, Jesus Christ in faith, it's the same kind of faith. It doesn't matter if you're in Africa, if you're 10 years old or 80 years old, or if you're in Australia or in America, faith in Jesus Christ is just faith in Jesus Christ. And he says the faith of the same kind as ours. I think that's important to realize that no matter how small your faith is, it's still faith. And it's still appropriating Jesus Christ and the grace of God in Jesus Christ. And I think that's uh, extremely important. And then he says something else that I think we want to be aware of. He says, well, he says this, he says, by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. In other words, faith has come to us as a gift of God. Uh, you know Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for by grace are you saved through faith. It's the gift of God. Grace is the gift of God. The faith to receive that grace is a gift of God. Why would I say that? Because the Bible says very clearly in Ephesians chapter 2 that we are dead in our trespasses and sins. Isaiah says it very well. We're separated from God. And uh, it's not that God can't hear us or he can't reach us, but we are separated from God because of our sins and iniquities, and nothing can bridge that in and of ourselves. We can't give back to God on our own. It takes an act of God's grace and mercy. <clears throat> it takes God doing something that we cannot do for ourselves. And so uh, he says this. Paul writes in, Ephi in I'm sorry, in Philippians chapter one, in verse 29, he said, "It's not only given to you to believe, but also to suffer for His name." In other words, faith is a gift. Paul writes again in Romans chapter 10, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's something important for us to realize that even our faith that we exercise in Christ is not just something on our own. It's not something that we come up with. It's aided by God. It's a gift of God through Jesus and made active by the Holy Spirit. So exercise your faith in Christ today, knowing that it's a gift of God for you even to know him and to believe in him and to love him and serve him. Faith. Oh, what a wonderful thing it is to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you that you through Christ have given us the faith to believe and to understand and to know you through Christ and to be in possession of that knowledge through the Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.